Good evening, VV Nation. My name is Ryan, and as always, welcome to the channel. Now, if you're new, definitely hit that subscribe button. So that way you can be updated on future content that we put out, keep you on the right side of the market, and make you money. Now, in tonight's video, we're going to talk about our master indicator here at VectorVest known as VST. This looks at overall value, safety, and timing and combines some of our proprietary indicators like relative value, relative safety, and relative timing. I love this indicator because it combines both fundamental and technical analysis. Now, one of the top questions I do get is how to find top VST stocks that have just entered this list. So out of all 9,000 stocks we're tracking in the database right now, we're currently looking at the top 40. So how do I find stocks to enter the top VST category? Well, I'm gonna show you just that. We're gonna utilize a tool called Unisearch. So if you really wanna dive into the VectorVest software, learn how to find top VST newcomers in this list, Stick around and let's get started. All right, so now we're over here at Unisearch. So over on the left, you have all the different search folders here. For those that are not familiar with Unisearch, again, it just scans the database. You know, we're tracking over 9,000 stocks throughout the US market. Scans the database to look for parameters that we are looking for in particular. So I'll just click on the Prudent folder here. And you'll see the different searches appear. And as I scroll down, there's this one here, top 20 newbies. Now, most of these searches do have comments here. If I read the comments, this strategy finds stocks whose price is greater or equal to $5, have an average volume greater than or equal to 250,000, and have a VST greater than or equal to 1.4. One week ago, these stocks were not found in the top 20 VST stocks, but currently are found in the top 20 stocks ranked by VST. The store brings the stocks to the top of the list that have the best combination of value, safety, and timing. So if you want an easy way to find new top VST stocks, this is the path. So I'll click on run search here. Now in this list coming up, we do have companies like Pulte, Carnival, Greenbrick, MI Holmes, and Monolithic Power. So all of these stocks here last week were not in the top 20 VST rankings. However, this week do appear in that list. Therefore, they are found in the search. What I really like about Unisearch is that these parameters are customizable. So if you want to change the dollar figure or even the average volume figure, along with some of these other ratings here, you can customize the search to tailor to your investment needs. Now that I've shown you the fish here, let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see what kind of stocks appear in this search. If we take a look here and we look at value and compare it to the asking price right now, we see that a lot of these stocks are currently undervalued. Even the top three, Pulte, Carnival, and Greenbrick here, all undervalued positions. The ETF, obviously that's gonna be the same as the valuation. Only two of these positions are currently overvalued, being MI Homes trading at $112, valued at 83, and monolithic power currently asking prices at 565 while we value it only at 292. So I do like that. A lot of undervalued stocks appearing in this list here. If we look at the fundamentals here, RV and RS, RV only, only one position here with a rating below one right now being MI Homes at 0 0.87. And even looking at RS here, only two positions in this list with an RS below one right now at 0 0.94 and 0 0.95. So not many stocks here have poor fundamentals when it comes to our RV and RS rating. And in addition, if we look at the RT here, again, this is our technical indicator looking at that short-term price trend and the magnitude of that trend. All of these stocks right now with ratings above one have an uptrend and a lot of magnitude in that uptrend currently. Now, no surprise, the VSTs here are some of the highest in the list. Now, as you remember, the lowest requirement was 1.4. In addition to that, CI ratings, very high ratings here, all above one, all buy rated stocks. Even look at the GRT, the company's ability to grow its earnings. These are in percent forms here, all positive numbers here, even the, and the highest coming in at 39% being Carnival. So I see a lot of great stocks here. So let's jump into the chart real quick and let's see what the graphs are telling us. All right, first on the list here, we have Pulte. We can see it hit a new high as of yesterday, the high coming in at 93.78. I'd like to see price action take that out before entering, just make sure this momentum continues to the upside. However, the three and eight day exponential moving averages are still in our favor here. In addition to that, look at RT still continuing to climb, getting above 1.6 here. And from a fundamental standpoint, earnings per share also steady rise over the last three months here. So let's go to the next position. We have CUK, Carnival just hit a new high as of today. We got a nice strong buy rating here. Three is above the eight right now. RT continuing to rise. And look, the earnings per share also on the rise over the last three months. So I do like this position. Hail, this is the ETF here. They hit its high as of yesterday. But look, nice strong buy rating here. We did get a top wick at this level of resistance coming in here. So I would take note of that. I would like to see price action take out this level of resistance coming in here. In addition, 
However, momentum continues to the upside with the three above the eight-day exponential moving average, still above this level of support here. Also, the RT is continuing to rise. So this looks like a great momentum play at the moment. Here we do have CCL, the other Carnival Court, did hit a high today. The three is above the eight and has been for quite some time. Do have the buy rating, RT and EPS also on the rise since we just covered this position. Next, we have green brick here. I do like this momentum to the upside here, confirmed by these moving averages. RT steadily rising, even the earnings per share. So from a fundamental standpoint, this company looks good. One mine of concern is this upper wick here coming in, forming the high as of yesterday at 51.12, showing some selling pressure from buyers, probably some profit taking from this most recent rally. So just keep note of that. However, the buy rating is still currently active. Now next we do have MHO here, or MI Homes, a nice rally over the last couple months here. Hit its high as of yesterday as well. Nice strong buy rating, moving averages in our, in our favor right now. RT also steadily on the rise. EPS did take a dip here, but has been recovering since late October. Next on the list we have TOL here, hit a high as of today. We are seeing a little bit of selling pressure with this upper wick forming here, creating our new level of resistance. However, look, buy rating across the board here, moving averages still in our favor. We did just break this level of resistance here, now becoming a level of support. In addition, the RT continues to rise, showing that magnitude, gaining momentum to the upside. And from an earnings standpoint, the forecasted earnings also on the rise over the last three months. Now for the last fish here, I do have monolithic power. Look at this, nice steadily rise. We are getting some tapering out of this momentum to the upside here. You can see the three converging close to that eight day. However, it still remains above it. So price action still has momentum to the upside right now. And price action is above this level support at 549.98. Now, in addition to that, RT also continues to stay on the rise. And look, earnings per share since, our, since late October also rising after it took its dip last month. So all of these stocks have a common theme. The three is above the eight-day exponential moving average. They have buy ratings and the earnings per share is positive and for the most part, moving up over the last three months. Now in tonight's presentation, I wanted to teach you how to fish and give you some fish at the same time. So you saw the stocks that came from the search. A lot of these stocks had, you know, great fundamentals, buy ratings, positive growth rate earnings. So a great list of stocks when it comes to cherry picking. Now, in addition to that, I wanted to teach you how to fish. So I showed you how to find these positions utilizing a part of the software known as Unisearch. Now, if you found this video informative and you see the potential in these positions, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. Good night. ABB Nation, the New Year's is fastly approaching, and you know what that means? Our flagship event is almost here. Our Tampa Two Day will be January 5th and 6th. To register for this live stream, just simply go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash stream. Now, a couple benefits that you get for attending this is our all new ETF trading system that is designed to outperform fixed income assets by threefold. Now, in addition to that, you will get full access to the live broadcast, world stock class, market education, a digital copy of the official course workbook and a hundred dollar voucher to be utilized for VectorVest coaching groups and educational services. So make sure you join the heavy hitters such as Ray Clark, Jim Penna, Jerry D'Ambrosio, Ron Wheeler, and Glenn Tompkins for the 2024 Tampa Two Day Investment Seminar.